Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim Assalamu Alaikum In today's video we are going to learn about methods or basis of bad debts provision calculation that what are the basis we are using to calculate bad debts provision so we will talk about three methods the first method will be credit sales method the second account receivable aging method and the third is direct account receivable method I will go through these three methods or the basis with the help of real life examples so you will understand better that how we can calculate or what will be the basis to calculate the bad debts provision. So let's start with the first method. The first method is credit sales method. In credit sales method a percentage of credit sales normally 1.5% taken by the companies to keep the provision for bad debts. They are cre creating provision 1.5% in this method of credit sales only, not the total sales. Suppose that a firm makes 5 million in credit sales but knows from experience that 1.5% never pays. Then the sales method estimated of the provision for bad debts would be 5 million multiplied by 1.5% so 75,000 dollar will be the bad debts provision will be created so this is a credit sales method the way they are creating so they will pass an entry like bad debts expense debit and provision for doubtful debts will be credited as a contra account of account receivable not directly deduction from your debtor account it will be a contra account of account receivable i will show you at the end of the video the trial balance that where and how to show the bad expense and the provision for doubtful debts. The next method we will talk about which is receivable aging method. Most of the companies are using this method. Let me show you the receivables aging it is look like this that these are the companies you are selling them on credit and this is the total receivables they have and this is the amount which is not yet due this is the amount which is 0 to 30 days delayed and this is the amount 31 to 60 days delayed and this is the amount 61 to 90 days or more than 90 days so the companies are making decision either to create a provision for uh, delayed period like more than 90 days payments delayed they will create a provision of this amount the account receivable department know the behavior of these companies so they will decide according to the behavior of the companies that if they're gonna pay or not so depend on their behavior companies are creating their provision so this is another method the second method let's talk about direct receivables method in this method a percentage of total receivables normally 10% the credit sales the total receivables whatever the total receivables you have they are making as 10 percent and as a bad debts provision suppose that a firm has net account receivables 1 million and they knows from experience that 10 percent normally goes as bad debts then they will create a provision for bad debts 100,000 at the end of each accounting period now let me show you the trial balance the companies when they are creating the bad debts provision they are passing this entry bad debts expense debit and provision for doubtful debts credit this is a trial balance of a company these are the assets current assets as you can see here debtors control account or the receivables account here and here an asset account but in negative balance it is a contra account of debtors control account so this account is provision for doubtful debts here in operating expenses at the end of each accounting period the bad debt expense is debit and here the provision for doubtful debts is also you know its credit so guys i hope you understand the concept of bad debts provision please subscribe my channel as it will keep motivated me to create more videos for you Thank you very much and goodbye.